Photoshop lessons for beginners. Ways to remove a background from a digital image. This is an introduction to a free 179 page book called Getting Started with Photoshop. Eliminating a background from any image can be extremely hard as well as time consuming. However, in this first part of this Adobe uh, Photoshop tutorial for newbies, we will discover how it can be quickly performed just by using the lasso tool. So let's get started by looking at removing a background. But before we jump right into any of the moves, first copy your background layer so we have a backup of the initial image should something go wrong. Then you can just take away the visibility of the background layer simply by unchecking the visible eye symbol. Simple. We are also able to use the lasso tool. This is used for selecting things which have complicated edges set against contrast colorings. And by using the lasso application, we are able to easily choose the area we would like to remain within the picture. After selecting the desired area, click on the Move tool so you can relocate the required area, leaving your background empty. Then, copy the selected selection and insert it anywhere you like in the workspace. A new layer will then show up on the layer panel and you are then able to erase the copied background layer or just uncheck the eye symbol to remove the visibility. So moving on towards the ultimate touches. We should make use of the uh, magic wand tool to remove any unwanted parts. Select the tool and then click on the excess selection by uh, and hit remove. Finally, you just need to create a new layer in order to add your choice background. Right. Well, here's an alternative way to get rid of the background from an image by using Adobe Photoshop. So first open up the image whose background you want to remove and then choose the magic wand application from the tools box. Now you need to click on the image to make the very first selection, after which hold down the shift key while clicking to carry on adding more selections. So you have the whole image that you'd like to remove selected. At this point, you'll probably notice that not the entire graphic has been selected or even that the selection is, isn't very fresh looking. To repair this, Photoshop has a pretty handy built-in application to assist you in tidying up the selection. Directly beneath the color selection area in the tools box are a couple of little symbols which look like cameras. The main one on the right is the modify in quick mask mode. So just click that one and whatever you haven't chosen should turn into a red color. Then you can operate the eraser tool to boost your selection and also the paintbrush tool to reduce your selection. Then just click on the edit in standard setting button to view your completed selection. You may need to practice a bit using these tools before perfecting the removal of a background. You can find out more from the following free Photoshop guide. To grab your free 179 page report on how to get started with Photoshop, make sure you click on the link below the arrow or visit www.learnphotoshopnow.com forward slash blog forward slash free dash book. Thanks very much.